Hi everyone and welcome to Wink. In this video we're going to explain how to connect the various peripheral devices which Wink supports. Wink is configured to work with specific equipment that we've pre-selected for eye care professionals based on reliability and price. For example, the Datamax label printer, the Honeywell barcode scanner, MagTech card readers and check readers, Topaz electronic signature pads, Samsung receipt printers, and finally Verifone credit card terminals. Before we begin, we should review the three different ways to connect this equipment to a computer. The first is via a serial cable, also known as an RS-232 cable. The second is via your everyday USB cable. And the third is via a serial USB hybrid cable. In all cases, we prefer the serial connection because all you have to do is plug them into your computer's serial port and you're good to go. USB, on the other hand, is a little less reliable. So basically, if you're looking to upgrade your practice as PCs, you should ask your Wink representative to recommend a model with one or two serial ports to make your life a bit easier. Okay, let's get started. First, turn on your computer and make sure it's connected to the internet, but don't launch Wink yet. Second, connect all your Wink peripheral devices to your computer. I'm going to do that right now, and as I do that, notice how my computer installs the drivers. Your computer will likely also make a little sound like that. I'm going to speed up this portion now as it can normally take a few minutes for all these drivers to install. Now that the devices have finished installing, I'll launch Wink. And now I'll log in. Now here's why we recommend serial devices over USB. I've connected my barcode scanner via a serial cable. If your barcode scanner connects via a USB instead of a serial, then your instructions will be provided later in this video. Now that my barcode scanner is plugged in, all I need to do is click on Settings, Honeywell Barcode Scanner, and select Serial. Finally, select the highest COM port available. In this case, there's only one COM port available, COM3, so all I need to do is select it. And that's it, I'm done. If you weren't able to see any COM ports, you could have come in here and clicked on this refresh button. Or alternatively, you can close the program and relaunch it, or any combination of the two. Now to test if my barcode scanner is working properly, I'll scan a barcode. And there you have it. Everything's working as it should. And don't worry if you don't have any Wink barcode to test with yet. You'll have one in a few minutes once your label printer is connected. The only other thing you need to know about COM ports is that if you ever switch your cable from one COM port to another, then you must come back in here and select the new COM port. Think of your COM port as your home address. Every time you move from one house to another, you have to give the post office your new address so that they can properly forward your mail. Well, COM ports work the same way. Moving on now, let's show you how to connect your payment terminal to your PC. Please note, this step is only required if you've purchased a Wink certified payment terminal. Those payment terminals connect to computers via hybrid serial USB cables. If you examine it closely, it's basically just a serial USB adapter. So the process for connecting it to the computer is nearly identical to the one just described for the barcode scanner. Here it is. First, before even connecting your terminal to the computer, contact your payment processor to make sure that your terminal is working properly and can process transactions under normal circumstances. In other words, by keying the payment details directly into the terminal. Next, make sure Wink is turned off. Make sure the terminal is turned on and connect the terminal to your computer using the hybrid serial USB cable provided. Make sure to plug one side of that cable into your terminal's RS-232 port and the other side of it into your computer's USB 2.0 port. Next, just as before, allow your computer to install the necessary drivers. It should take about a minute. When it's done, launch Wink and log in. Now, just as before, click on Settings, Payment Processing this time, and select the highest COM port available. In this case, COM4. Now your system will ask you to name this terminal, as it is possible to have more than one terminal in a store. In this case, this terminal will be located at the front desk. If you only have one terminal, we recommend you enter front desk as the name. And click OK. And that's it. We're done. To test if it's working, I'm going to create a quick sale.
and click on My Terminal. Now, click on Send to Terminal. Here's what it should say on your terminal now. As you can see, the amount here has been automatically transferred from the computer to the terminal. The terminal is now waiting for you to swipe a credit card in it. For obvious reasons, I'm going to cancel that transaction. And there you go. Now I'm going to close this page. So there you have it. We plugged in our terminal, we installed it, and we tested it. And everything is working as it should. Again, if you ever unplug your terminal and plug it into a new port, then you're going to have to come back to this menu and select a new COM port. Remember that serial ports are just like your home address. You have to advise the post office whenever you move. And remember to always select the highest port available. In other words, the most recent address. Now then, the last step is to connect all your USB devices. Before I do that, have a look at these four icons at the bottom of the screen. These icons represent the different peripheral devices that are configured for my Wink software. If the icon is red, it means the device is either not connected, or it's not connected properly. If the device is green or white, it means the device is connected properly. So as you can see, Wink has recognized that my barcode scanner is connected properly. But it cannot find my label printer or my card reader, so let's connect those. Now then, your label printer and card reader should already be connected to your PC. If they're not, close your Wink software, connect them, allow the drivers to install, and launch Wink. Next, click on Settings, USB Device Installation, and click on Install USB Libraries. After a few moments, this pop-up will appear. Just click OK. A few seconds later, this will pop up. Now just follow your on-screen instructions. Accept the agreement, next, 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 and install. You don't need to launch the filter installer wizard, so you can uncheck that and click finish. And now you can close this window too. The last step is the easiest. Just click on any of the red icons representing the devices you wish to install. Upon doing so, this pop-up will appear. Again, you only need to click on OK. As you can see at the bottom of my screen here, the label printer is installing. And there you go, the printer's been installed. If I had a USB barcode scanner, I could click on its red icon and Wink would install it for me as well. As you can see, once my devices are installed, their icons become either green or white. That means everything is connected properly. The last thing you should do is test your devices. For example, to test your Datamax printer, click on Settings, Calibrate Datamax Printer, and click on Test Print. Upon doing so, your Datamax printer should spit out a label with a barcode on it. If it did so, it means it's working properly. Also, if you weren't able to do so earlier, you could also test your barcode scanner now. For instructions on calibrating your Datamax label printer or loading a printer ribbon or frame labels, just click on the YouTube links we sent you which explain those processes further, or consult your Datamax label printer user guide, available online in PDF format. We hope you've enjoyed our video on how to install and connect your Wink peripheral devices. For further instructions, go to www.downloadwink.com, click on support, and ask us a question. We're happy to help. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.